Hi everyone, I'm Rachel. In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to color fabulous pastel nail art using the Color Therapy app. In this lesson, I'll show you how to create a matte versus shiny pastel look so you can decide which one you'd like to use. If you want to follow along, find this image under the search box by searching for nail. So we'll start off by spraying in the nail color. Make sure coloring inside the lines mode is set to off and then select the airbrush tool. Set the size at 80 and opacity at 70. So I want to start off by creating the shiny version and I want to use some of the colors from the pastel palette and do like a multicolor version using the first color and the fourth color on the second row. So it's a, a light purple and then sort of a, a medium blue. And I'll also use that second color on the first row, a light pink. So starting with that pink on one side of the nail, I'll just swipe down and then I'll select the purple and just put that in the middle, swiping down and then blue. So it's a nice gradient from pink, purple to blue. Now let's add a little shadow around the nail. So I'm using the first color on the pastel palette, setting the size at 12 and setting the opacity at 70%. I'm just gonna shade all the way around that nail, around that inside edge. Now lower the size down to one, and I'm gonna choose this nice pale yellow color on the pastel palette, and I'm gonna draw a highlight. Really quickly, I just wanna show you the reference that I'm working from, so you can see how it's really shiny. So I'm gonna use the way this highlight looks on this nail and apply it to mine. All right, so working from my reference, I see there's a highlight coming down like this, and then it comes up and then around, and then I'm gonna raise the size up a little bit to like 12%, and then just fill that in. I'm gonna do the same thing with a little bright green from the pastel palette. So just lowering the size back down to one, and then just above it, just adding a green highlight, sort of just curving around above it, and I'm just gonna fill that in again. Now lower the size back down to one, and then sample a color nearby those highlights. I'm gonna draw some lines going through, just kind of curving around. And let's just blend it with the smear tool. Set the intensity at 100 and size at 10. Now I want to blend everything so it looks really smooth. If it's hard to see, go ahead and go in the effects tab and just remove the lines. So while you're creating the shiny nails, I really recommend using a reference. Now with the pen tool, we're gonna to add some white highlights. Set the size at three now and we'll leave the opacity at 100. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of white highlights here and there. So just like where the yellow is. And then a couple lines curving around the tip of the nail. Also use some of that green that we had before and just add a little tiny green area on one side of the edge of the nail. With our same smear tool settings as before, you can just smear it a little bit here and there, just blending those edges. I'm usually just kind of tapering the edges. Now, the nail is really going to look more realistic once you shade the finger and add the shadows around it. Now I wanna show you how to do matte nail polish. This time, let's make the colors go in a horizontal fashion. So from the pastel palette, I'm gonna start off with that pink color. And then under the airbrush tool, use the size 50 and opacity 100. Just swipe across the base of the nail. I kind of want to make it like a rainbow, so I'm going to use the nice orange from Pastel Palette and then layer another layer of cross using the yellow. Let's blend the yellow into a green or a turquoise color and then a light blue next to that and then finally a purple at the tip. Now we want to smooth out the colors just a little bit, so set the size and intensity at 100 under the smear tool and just kind of blend back and forth just horizontally with those colors just so they're nice and smooth. Try not to bring in any of the white color from the edges into it. So even though it's matte, it will still have a little bit of a highlight to it, but it will just be more diffused. But before we do that, let's do a shadow. So let's set the size at 10% and opacity at 50 using the airbrush tool. And I'm also using the first color on the pastel palette. And I'm gonna just outline the whole nail all the way around the inside edge. And then switch over to white and just add a little highlight sort of in the middle of the base of the finger. And then let's lower the size down to 1% now and then raise the opacity to 70. Just draw a couple little more highlights just at the tip of the nail and then just a little highlight at the base of the nail curving around and then you just wanna blend it. So with this mirror tool, set the intensity at 100 and the size at 10% and just with your finger blend just a little bit, just softening those highlights. And that's really it for the matte nail polish. Your final step is to clean up the fingers and add shading to them in the areas around the nail. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe to the Color Therapy YouTube channel so you don't miss any new tutorial videos. Thanks for watching our tutorial. You can get the Color Therapy app for free on the App Store.